Thank you so much for helping me clean up all these books, guys. It was a crazy weekend of studying. Rainbow Dash, you rock! Woohoo! <gasps> Did my cheering do that? <laughs> Sorry about that, ladies. That was a truly feeble performance. Actually, it wasn't all bad. I particularly liked it when you made the cloud spin. I'm not talking about my performance. I'm talking about yours. That feeble cheering. What are you two arguing about? Were we arguing? I'm sorry. I wish you guys could come to Cloudsdale to see me compete in the best young flyer competition. What's that? It's where all the greatest Pegasus flyers get together and show off their different flying styles. Some are fast. <laughs> Golly, I'd love to see you strut your stuff in that competition. Yeah, I wish you guys could be there. Fluttershy's a great support, but her cheering isn't exactly inspirational. Oh, I'd love to see you make a sonic rain boom. It's like the most coolest thing ever, even though I've never actually seen it. But I mean, come on, it's a sonic rain boom. How not cool could it possibly not be? What's a sonic rain boom? You really need to get out more. The sonic rain boom is legendary. When a pegasus like Rainbow Dash gets going so fast, boom! A sonic boom and a rainbow can happen all at once! And Rainbow Dash, here's the only pony to ever pull it off. It was a long time ago. I was just a filly. Yeah, but you're gonna do it again, right? Are you kidding? I'm the greatest flyer to ever come out of Cloudsdale. I could do sonic rain booms in my sleep. Wow, if you pull that off, you'll win the crown for sure. The grand prize is an entire day with the Wonderbolts. A whole day of flying with my lifelong heroes. It'll be a dream come true. Yay. I'm going to go rest up. Don't want to over-prepare myself, you know. <laughs> you, on the other hand, better keep practicing. I need a cheering section to match my spectacular performance. She's practiced that move a hundred times and she's never even come close to doing it. I don't know if I can cheer loud enough to help her. Well, guess we better get this cleaned up. Again. Go on, go on. Go on what? Find a spell that will get us wingless ponies into Cloudsdale. Didn't you see how nervous she was? Nervous? Have you spit your bit or something? She was tooting her own horn louder than the brass section of a marching band. Oh, please. I've put on enough fashion shows to recognize stage fright when I see it. We've got to find a way to be there for her. Now go all out! Ugh. How am I supposed to find a flight spell in this mess? A flight spell? One sec. Page 27. How'd you do that? It landed on my face when Rainbow Dash knocked me into the bookcase. Here it is. A spell that will allow Earth ponies to fly for three days. Ooh, it looks really difficult. I'm not sure I can do it. You've got to try. Okay, but who's going to volunteer to be the test subject? I will. For Rainbow Dash, I will go first. Here goes. I read all about the prediction of Nightmare Moon. Some mysterious objects called the Elements of Harmony are the only things that can stop her. But I don't know what they are, where to find them. I don't even know what they do. The Elements of Harmony, a reference guide. How did you find that? It was under E. Oh. There are six Elements of Harmony, but only five are known. Kindness, laughter, generosity, honesty, and loyalty. The sixth is a complete mystery. It is said the last known location of the five elements was in the ancient castle of the Royal Pony Sisters. It is located in what is now <laughs> the Everbreed Forest. Whee! Let's go! Not so fast. Look, 
I appreciate the offer, but I'd really rather do this on my own. No can do, Sugar Cube. We sure ain't letting any friend of ours go into that creepy place alone. We're sticking to you like caramel on a candy apple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Especially if there's candy apples in there. What? Those things are good. <sighs> So, none of you have been in here before? Uh, heavens no! Just look at it! It's dreadful! And it ain't natural. Folks say it don't work the same as Equestria. So what's that supposed to mean? No pony knows! You know why? Rainbow, quit it! Cause every pony who's ever come in has never come out! Fluttershy, ah! quit! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness! Ah! Ah! Hold on! I'm coming! Applejack, what do I do? Let go. Are you crazy? No, I ain't. I promise you'll be safe. That's not true! Now listen here. What I'm saying to you is the honest truth. Let go, and you'll be safe. Ah! Phew. Ah! Oh, sorry, girls. I'm not used to holding anything more than a bunny or two. Yes, Rainbow, I was there. And I'm very grateful. But we gotta... <gasps> a Manticore! We've gotta get past him. <laughs> Take that, you ruffian! My hair! <laughs> Wait. This might hurt for just a second. Fluttershy! No, 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 no! Ugh! Mike! It's over here! Ah! Elements, elements, E, E, E. Aha! Elements of harmony. See Mare in the Moon? Mare in the moon? But that's just an old pony's tale. Mare, mare. Aha! The mare in the moon, myth from olden pony times. A powerful pony who wanted to rule Equestria, defeated by the elements of harmony and imprisoned in the moon. Legend has it that on the longest day of the thousandth year, the stars will aid in her escape, and she will bring about nighttime eternal. <gasps> Spike, do you know what this means? No. <laughs> Take a note, please, to the princess. Oh, Doki? My dearest teacher, my continuing studies of pony magic have led me to discover that we are on the precipice of disaster. Hold on. Prissy? Prissy? Threshold. Where? Uh, Brink? Uh, that something really bad is about to happen. For you see, the mythical Mare in the Moon is in fact Nightmare Moon, and she's about to return to Equestria and bring with her eternal night. Something must be done to make sure this terrible prophecy does not come true. I await your quick response. Your faithful student, Twilight Sparkle. Twilight Sparkle! Got it! Great! 
send it. Now? Of course. Uh, I don't know, Twilight. Princess Celestia is a little busy getting ready for the summer sun celebration. And it's like the day after tomorrow. That's just it, Spike. The day after tomorrow is the thousandth year of the summer sun celebration. It's imperative that the princess is told right away. Impera? Impera? Important! Uh -huh. Okay, okay. <gasps> there, it's on its way. But I wouldn't hold your breath. Oh, I'm not worried, Spike. The princess trusts me completely. In all the years she's been my mentor, she's never once doubted me. <laughs> See? I knew she would want to take immediate action. <clears throat> my dearest, most faithful student, Twilight, you know that I value your diligence and that I trust you completely. Mm -hmm. But you simply must stop reading those dusty old books. <gasps> My dear Twilight, there is more to a young pony's life than studying. So I'm sending you to supervise the preparations for the summer sun celebration in this year's location, Ponyville. And I have an even more essential task for you to complete. Make some friends. Aww. Look on the bright side, Twilight. The princess arranged for you to stay in a library. Doesn't that make you happy? Yes. Yes, it does. You know why? Because I'm right. I'll check on the preparations as fast as I can, then get to the library to find some proof of Nightmare Moon's return. Then when will you make friends like the princess said? She said to check on preparations. I am her student, and I'll do my royal duty, but the fate of Equestria does not rest on me making friends. <laughs> Thank you, sirs. Maybe the ponies in Ponyville have interesting things to talk about. Come on, Twilight, just try! Uh... Hello? <gasps> well, that was interesting, all right. <sighs> in the name of all things Cinnamon Swirl, is a full-grown dragon doing here in Equestria? Sleeping. Huh? huh? According to Princess Celestia, he's taking a nap. His snoring is what's causing all this smoke. He should really see a doctor. That doesn't sound healthy at all. Well, at least he's not snoring fire. What are we meant to do about it? I'll tell you what we're meant to do. Give him the boot! To death. We need to encourage him to take a nap somewhere else. Princess Celestia has given us this mission, and we must not fail. If we do, Equestria will be covered in smoke for the next 100 years. <gasps> Talk about getting your beauty sleep. All right, every pony. I need you to gather supplies quickly. We've got a long journey ahead of us. Let's meet back here in less than an hour. Okay, girls, you heard her. The fate of Equestria is in our hubs. Do we have what it takes? Come on, you bitch. We can do it. Obviously. Yeah, we Come can on. do it. Um, actually. All right, girls, listen up. I'm mapping out the fastest route, but we've all got to keep a good pace if we expect to make it up the mountain by nightfall. M mountain The dragon is in that cave at the very top. Looks pretty cold up there. You bet it is. The higher you go, the chillier it gets. Good thing I brought my scarf. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'll keep you nice and cozy. Um, excuse me, Twilight. I know you're busy, but... Uh-huh. Oh, we could go this way. But if I could just have a second... Uh-huh. No, we want to avoid that. So, um, 
I was thinking that, um, maybe I should just stay here in Ponyville. Uh-huh. Oh, good. I'll stay here and... Wait, you have to come. Your way with wild animals will surely come in handy. I don't think I... Oh, and don't worry about your little friends in the meadow. Spike's got it covered while you're gone. You can count on me! Oh. Hey, hey, wait! I don't really think he's up to the task. Maybe... But... But... Are you sure you want Fluttershy to come along? I mean, that pony's afraid of her own shadow. She's just gonna slow us down. Oh, she's just a little nervous. Once we get going, I'm sure she'll be fine. Ah! All right, girls. Move out! But, but... what it sounds like when a dragon snores. It's... it's so... high. Well, it is a mountain. I'm gonna fly up there and check it out. <laughs> Hold on now. I think we should all go up together. Safety in numbers and all. So, Pinkie Pie, are you sure that this friend of Rainbow Dash is really so mean? Um, yeah! She keeps stealing Rainbow Dash away, she popped my balloons, and she told me to buzz off! I've never met a griffin this mean. Well, actually, I've never met a griffin at all. But I bet if I had, she wouldn't have been as mean and grumpy as Gilda. You know what I think, Pinkie Pie? Hmm? Well, I think you're jealous. Jealous? Green with envy. Well, in your case, pink with envy. Well, yes, jealous. Listen, Pinky, I don't want to upset you, but just because Rainbow Dash has another friend doesn't make Gilda a grump. I mean, perhaps it's you, Pinky, who needs to improve her attitude. Improve my attitude? But I... D but it's Gilda that... D are you serious? <sighs> Maybe Twilight is right. Maybe Gilda isn't a big, mean, grumpy, mean, meanie pants. Maybe I'm just a big, jealous, judgmental, jealous, jealousy pants. <laughs> that was sweet. Ugh. I gotta take care of a few weather jobs around here. Shouldn't take long. Just uh, hang out in town and I'll come find you. That's cool, I guess. I'm gonna go chow down. Later! <laughs> A straggler! Run for the hills! Everybody for save yourselves! This stuff ain't fresh, dude. Aw, poor Granny Smith! She didn't know it was a joke! How mean! No, no, I can't misjudge her. It was kind of a funny prank, I guess. <gasps> I did misjudge her! She's not only a meanie me pants, she's also a thief! No, 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 no. She might give it back. It's just a joke. All right, little ones. This way. This way. Mama Duck, you're free and clear. Hey! Oh, please excuse me. I'm walking here! Oh, um, I'm sorry. I, I, I was just trying I'm to... sorry, I'm sorry! Why don't you just watch where you're going, doofus? But, 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 I... I... <laughs> Ugh, please. All these lame ponies are driving me buggy. I gotta bail. She's a grump and a thief and a bully. The meanest kind of mean meanie pants there is. I can take it, but no one treats Fluttershy like that. No one. This calls for extreme measures, Pinkie Pie style. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Who's this Gilda I've heard nothing about? I hear she's an old friend of Rainbow Dash, a griffin, so rare. You've met Gilda, right? What's she like? Oh, um, well, I'll tell you later, Twilight. Welcome! Welcome! Um, 
Pinkie Pie, about this party for Gilda, um, do you really think it's a good idea? I mean... Don't worry your pretty little head about mean old Gilda. Your Auntie Pinkie Pie's got it all taken care of. I'm a year older than you. Gilda! I'm so honored to throw you one of my signature Pinkie Pie parties. And I really, truly, sincerely hope you feel welcome here amongst all us pony folk. <laughs> Buzzer, you are a scream! Yeah, <laughs> good one, Pinkie Pie. No, 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 no! None of these books have a cure! Ugh, there has to be a real reason for this! An illness? An allergy? A curse! I said a real reason. Something that points to something real. How about this one? Supernaturals? Spike, the word supernatural refers to things like ghosts and spirits and zombies, which are as make-believe as curses. This book is just a bunch of hooey. But what if you're wrong, Twilight? What if this really is a... A, a purse? How could it be a purse? Pinky, what happened? <laughs> hey, say it! Don't spray it, Pinky! Trying to save Ow. the core. Oh. He slapped the ball with a curse. I'm afraid I have to agree. <laughs> <gasps> I hate to say I told you so, Twilight, but I told you so. <gasps> it's a curse, I tells you. But Fluttershy seems just fine. Yes, there doesn't seem to be a thing wrong with her. Fluttershy, are you okay? Is there something wrong with you? Would you care to tell us? So you're not going to tell us? Yes, you're not, or yes, you will. Good gravy, girl. What's wrong with you? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious! <laughs> Look at all of you. We got Harity, <laughs> Rainbow Crush, Spitty Pie, Apple Teeny, Flutter Guy, and, uh, I got nothing. Twilight Sparkle. I mean, seriously, I can't even work with that. <laughs> this is no joke, Spike. Now start looking for more books so I can find a cure. <laughs> I think we'll find a cure to this curse at Zakora's place. It's not a curse. I agree with Dash. We'll go to Zakora's and force her to remove this hex. It's not a hex either. This is all my fault. If I hadn't fooled Zakora in the first place, none of this would have happened. I just gotta fix this. Now, where does she think she's going this time? I don't care what you say, Twilight. It's time to pony up and confront Zakora. Come on, girls. Are you with me? I am. And I as well. Oh, I don't know. Seems awfully dangerous. <laughs> How about you, Applejack? Uh, Applejack? She's blown! Ah! Some pony stepped on her! Or sat on her? Where is his hair? Oh! Oh, oh Pinky, what are you doing? <laughs> Really? We're ah, in a personal space? Well, <laughs> Apple Bloom is gone too. I bet they went after Zakora. Well, we better go find them. <laughs> Come on, girls. Let's go. Oh, oh dear. Oh, this is so unseemly. Oh. Hey, a little help here. Oopsie. Sorry. Ow! You and Applejack should totally sleep over. We'll have a slumber party. I've always wanted one of those. Oh, goodness. Uh, I do believe I have another engagement scheduled for this evening that completely slipped my mind until just now. <laughs> oh, silly me. I can't possibly stay here all night with Applejack. <laughs> Oh, 
Slumber 101, all you've ever wanted to know about slumber parties but were afraid to ask. My own personal copy? It's a fantastic reference guide. You should see the table of contents. I've been waiting for a chance to use it, and today's the day! This is gonna be so great! Yes, uh, great! <laughs> Now, wait just a gall darn minute. You make me wash the mud off my hooves, but it's okay for y'all to have mud all over your faces? Silly. This is called a mud mask. It's to refresh and rejuvenate your complexion. We're giving each other makeovers! <laughs> we have to do it. It says so in the book. Slumber 101, everything you... Oh, hi. <laughs> What'd you look at the time? I gotta skedaddle on home quick. I'm powerful late for, uh, for something. Uh, good night. <laughs> or maybe I'll sit here for a spell. Hooray, slumber party! <laughs> what in the world is this for? Huh, to reduce the puffiness around one's eyes, of course. Puffiness, schmuffiness. That's good eating. <laughs> Isn't this exciting? We'll do everything by the book, and that will make my slumber party officially fun. Did you hear that, Applejack? You certainly would not want to do anything that would ruin Twilight's very first slumber party, would you? Of course not. You wouldn't either, I reckon. So do we have an agreement? You betcha. Oh, gross! You know, there's messy and there's just plain rude. You know, there's fussy and there's just plain getting on my nerves. Fortunately, I can get along with any pony, no matter how difficult she may be. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm the get along in this pony you're ever gonna meet. That's not even a word. This is gonna be the bestest slumber party ever! Yay! Yay. So, how are you getting along over there, Applejack? Just fine, Rarity. This is so awesome! <laughs> Makeovers, check! Ooh, it says here we have to tell ghost stories. Who wants to go first? Me! I'd like to tell y'all the terrifying tale of the prissy ghost who drove every pony crazy with the unnecessary neatness. Ooh. I'm sure y'all are familiar with that one. Never heard of it, but I have a much better one. It's the horrifying story of the messy, inconsiderate ghost who irritated every pony within a hundred miles. Ooh.